At age 13, I was in central Indiana, and I had been out with my friends. We'd been swimming in the creek, and for some reason I took a walk back on my own, and I started looking at the world. It's much like today. It was beautiful out, and I, the thought hit me. I had this epiphany, I guess, and said, God made all this. And then it's, God made you. And what are you going to give back? And so at age 13, I determined that my purpose was going to be, the best way I knew to give back as a 13-year-old, is to do good things for other people, do good works, and to help, help other people uh, develop. What happened to me is work consumed me in my 20s and 30s. It really defined me. I always like to articulate it like, here's my core, and work defined me so much that it squeezed out the other important aspects. And when anything gets into your core to that degree, Christ is not leading your life. I came to the Lord at the age of seven. My mother was my first evangelist. Mm -hmm. She is the one who gave me a love for the Lord and an early age. She taught me the scriptures. And she and I would have what we would call church. And I would open the doors of the house as if we were opening the doors of the church. <laughs> and we would have communion with Christ and the Lord Jesus. Hell yes. Little did she know what she was doing at that time in terms of planting a seed for what the Lord would later do. And they're going to be the ones to get the jobs. I'm going to major in accounting. And then I determine why there were a small number of people majoring in accounting. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my gracious, it whooped me. But um, maybe that's why I found the Lord while I was in college. So. We're a terrible boy. But God, through our dad, really used him to cultivate an appetite in us for the things of God. Ever since we asked Jesus Christ into our hearts, we became ministers of the gospel of Jesus on mission to bring his rule to this earth.